Frustrated, fed up, and reaching out to us. You may know the Illinois Secretary of State's office requires seniors of a certain age take a driver's test to keep their license. But a new requirement to make an appointment for that test has many spending days, even weeks, just trying to follow the state's rules. Our Tara Molina is taking a closer look at the issue, and she's bringing it to the state today. You can't just walk into an office like this one for the required senior driver's test anymore. You have to make an appointment and it could take weeks to find that appointment if this is the closest office to you. Some tell us they never even got that lucky. It's luck and it shouldn't be down to luck. Luck, that's what it takes. It's me again, gray means no appointment available. To follow the state's rules and requirements when it comes to senior drivers, according to Lou Gross. The stress and frustration and wanting to go down to and bang on someone's door and say, you try this and see how you like it. Gross, one of a number of seniors we've heard from, frustrated and fed up with the state requirement that went into place at offices across Illinois September 1st, making the senior driver's test mandatory for license renewal, available by appointment only. Illinois is the only state that requires drivers 75 and up to pass a road test to renew their license. Looking at the site today, it shows an available appointment, but when he went to check out the details. This one says Bridgeview is 25 miles. Um, but again, it says it, but there's nothing to click on. It would be blue. You see the blue thing? Nothing there. It took more than two weeks of checking this website at all hours of the day for Lou to finally get an appointment at an office half an hour away, not the office closest to him. At 81, he'll have to go through it all again in two years. His hope in speaking out, the state will make this process better for everyone long before then. My wife works, I work. I think maybe people have an impression of seniors like we have nothing better to do than sit around all day waiting for appointments. We first reached the Secretary of State's office with the concerns we've been hearing since the appointment requirement went into effect more than a month ago, asking for a sit down interview. Today we received answers to our questions in writing and the office did not acknowledge concerns we raised about the difficulty people are having securing appointments, saying in part, quote, the skip the line program has been functioning at a high level since its official launch. Since launching the program on September 1st, more than 435,000 appointments have been scheduled, going on to say customers are experiencing little to no wait times. But that wasn't Lou's experience. My appointment was for 3 p.m. I don't think I got in the car. It was like 4.30, quarter to 20 to 5. His message for the Secretary of State's office? If you're going to require us to do this so frequently, find a way to make this easier. Again, we first reached the state weeks ago with these concerns. You can read the full response we received from them in this story. It's up on our website right now. We'll continue to dig into this. Reporting in Deerfield, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Tara.